Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Utility Sports. And boy, oh boy, do we have some breaking news here. The Detroit Lions are sending quarterback Matthew Stafford to the Los Angeles Rams, according to Adam Schefter, in exchange for two future first-round picks, a third-round pick, and quarterback Jared Goff. Obviously, Goff and Stafford, both former number one overall picks. And this is just an incredible, incredible package here for the Detroit Lions. If you are Detroit, you have to be looking at this as an immediate win in this trade. You're giving up Matthew Stafford, who I'm really fond of. I think he's a really good quarterback. But you're getting a young, good QB back in Jared Goff, someone who's at least average in the NFL, someone who's going to give you a chance to win on Sundays, getting two future first-round picks on top of that and a third-round pick. And the Los Angeles Rams, they just they – they didn't have a pick this year in the first. Now they're moving on from two more. And this is something they've grown accustomed to doing. They did this with Jalen Ramsey. They've been aggressive moving those draft picks to get quality players. And now Matthew Stafford comes into the Rams. He is a, a for sure improvement over Jared Goff, in my opinion. However, here now, Detroit does have their long-term QB option with Jared Goff. He is under contract. They don't have to worry about drafting one now. Now that's kind of up to whatever they want to do at pick seven. That could be Micah Parsons. It could be improving that defense, grabbing a, a cornerback maybe to go across from Jeffrey Akuda. It could also be about improving that offense, grabbing a wide receiver, someone dynamic like Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle, possibly Jamar Chase. Or uh, another direction they could go is grab an offensive tackle, build up that offensive line. This is a home run trade for the Detroit Lions. When I thought about Matthew Stafford's trade value, I thought, okay, maybe he gives up uh, demands of first and maybe a little bit of an extra comp. Here they get a guy who is an established starting level QB in Jared Goff, two future first round picks and a third rounder. This is the absolute highest value I feel that they were going to get from Matthew Stafford. I think this is an A++++ trade for the Detroit Lions. And quite frankly, I'm a little, I'm a little bewildered for the LA Rams. And remember, I really like Matthew Stafford. I think he's a good quarterback. I think he's going to be competitive uh, in the NFL for the next six or seven years till he's 32 years old. But for the Rams, they gave up a hell of a lot to bring in Matthew Stafford. I don't know. Maybe this puts them over the hump. We had talked about how Stafford to the Rams could make them a much better team, but I'm not sure if it's worth two firsts and a third and Goff in that deal. That is a really big, really big move. We had heard Dan Campbell, the new coach of the Lions, say this is going to be a long-term rebuild for the Detroit Lions. They're going to really focus on getting this thing right, and here they're doing it. They got two future firsts for their starting QB that are going to be down the road a third rounder, they're going to have assets to build this thing up the way that they want to there in Detroit. This is a home run move for them. I can't emphasize that enough. And the LA Rams, they got better in the short term, but I think this is a, a, a massive overpay for Matthew Stafford. I really like him as a QB. I think he's a tough son of a gun. I have questions at tackle though. Is Whitworth going to be back? I don't know. That defense, they're going to, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with Brandon Staley no longer there how they're going to perform. They have some really good pieces in place. Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, now Matthew Stafford. SoFi Stadium got their QB now with Matthew Stafford. He's coming to LA. I'm excited for him. He's got a good infrastructure on him with Cooper Cup, Robert Woods. They'll have to figure out that run game a little bit. I like their tight ends that they got there, though. The Rams are better in the short term, but wow, did they pay a lot to get it. I'm a little puzzled by that, to be completely honest, that they're willing to pay that much money or not that much money, rather, but rather that much uh, to go get Stafford. And I'm almost wondering if they felt like they had to pay to get off of Goff's contract. I feel like that is possible. Years ago, I was very anti Jerry Goff getting that contract. I do think he's a starting level QB. He is overpaid. Maybe that's partially why they had to give up the assets that they did in this deal. But wow, we see a blockbuster trade here now heading in to the weekend. And, and just honestly, a really big shakeup before the Super Bowl here. We haven't even hit the Pro Bowl yet, What the time of what the Pro Bowl would be in a non-COVID year. And we have a, a massive trade between the Los Angeles Rams and the Detroit Lions. Let me know in the comments who you think won this trade. Let me know if you're excited to see Matthew Stafford play in the, for the LA Rams. I am excited to watch. I'm also excited to watch Goff in Detroit, as well as Detroit stacking up some of these assets. That is a home run trade in, for them, in my opinion. I hope you guys really did enjoy the video. If you did, smash that like button. You know what to do. We're so close to 1,800 subscribers. It would be awesome if you guys could get us there. 
and we'll catch you in the very next video.